Meet Timmy, 12 years old, honor roll student, future valedictorian, and also the CEO of Outsourcing His Brain to AI. Watch closely, folks. This kid's got a PhD in Carl C. Troll V. He's solving math problems while binge watching TikTok dances. Three quarters plus five, six? <laughs> Why bother learning fractions when ChatGPT can spit out the answer faster than you can say common core? But hey, who needs neurons when you've got algorithms, am I right? Unless, of course, you want your kid to know that Abraham Lincoln isn't just the name of a car service. What's up, guys? Let's get real for a sec. Gen Alpha's out here turning ChatGPT into their personal homework slave. And honestly, I'm equal parts impressed and terrified. Case in point, <laughs> this masterpiece. Timmy here thinks the Civil War started because Lincoln hated TikTok dances. Error 404, brain not found. Now, before you roll your eyes and say, oh, it's just one kid. A recent Stanford study found 67% of middle schoolers use AI for homework, and 40% of them can't even explain how they got the answers. Yo, we're basically raising a generation of copy-paste zombies. But hey, at least they'll be really good at existing. So here's the million-dollar question, folks. If we let kids outsource their brains to Silicon Valley, what happens when they grow up and realize critical thinking isn't a TikTok filter? Let's dive in. And don't worry, I'll explain everything slower than Timmy trying to do long division without Wi-Fi. Joyful Lens, Tiny Habits, Big Sense. Okay, story time. My cousin Sarah down in Texas, shout out to Austin, y'all, let her 10-year-old borrow ChatGPT for a book report. Simple assignment, right? To kill a mockingbird. Classic. Except the kid summarized it as a story about a dude who really hated birds. Error. Moral compass not installed. But hey, props where props are due. The grammar was flawless. Kid wrote it while binge watching Stranger Things and crushing a family sized bag of Doritos. Priorities, am I right? Now, before you say, oh, that's just one kid, 72% of teachers in Cali report AI generated homework. Let that sink in. Seven out of 10 kids are basically submitting robot fan fiction. My personal favorite? One kid asked Alexa, during a debate club, to argue why homework should be illegal. Here's why child labor laws apply to algebra. Bold move, kiddo. Bold move. Oh, and Google searches for how to make ChatGPT sound like a 7th grader? Up 300% since 2022. A plus for effort, F for critical thinking. Using AI for homework is like ordering Uber Eats every single day. Sure, you're fed. But your brain's cooking skills? Gone. Poof. Next thing you know, kids think critical thinking is a new Netflix category. Hey Siri, how do I tie my shoes? Congrats, parents. Your kid's now a Carl C. Pro with the problem-solving skills of a Roomba. Memorizing chat GPT answers is like trying to get buffed by watching workout videos. You feel productive, but your brain muscles? Flabbier than my Uncle Joe's Thanksgiving turkey. And let's be real. Using Quizlet to cheat on the SAT is so 2010. ChatGPT is the new MVP of the academic self-sabotage. Imagine a zombie apocalypse, but instead of brains, well, they're screaming, Alexa, solve this algebra problem. Scary? Nah. Just another Tuesday in 2024. But here's the kicker. If we don't course correct, Gen Alpha is going to need an AI just to order a McFlurry. Uh... 15% tip on $9.87 is error. Please insert brain. So here's the real question, folks. Are we cool with raising a generation that can code a chatbot, but can't calculate a 20% discount at Target? Drop a comment. I'm dying to know. Would you trust ChatGPT to teach your kid? Or is that like letting a TikTok influencer perform brain surgery? Let's rewind. Meet Emily, your average 7th grader. One day, she's staring at this equation. 2x plus 5 equals 11. Ugh, algebra, chat GPT, do your thing. Five seconds later, voila. Answer, x equals 3. Easy peasy. But here's the rookie move. She didn't just copy the answer. She didn't even read how it got there. Spoiler alert, this is the homework equivalent of using a flamethrower to light a birthday candle. Fast forward six months. Emily's at McDonald's, staring at a $12.45 bill. The cashier's like, 15% tip, please. 
Uh, you chat GPT? What's 15% of... Newsflash. Folks, you can't outsource basic math to AI when you're face-to-face -face with a McFlurry machine. Suddenly, our mathlete can't calculate a tip faster than a confused golden retriever. No offense, Goldens. If every kid in New York pulls this stunt, by 2030, the average problem-solving skill here will drop to the IQ of a squirrel hoarding acorns for winter. And trust me, those guys aren't passing the SAT. Cut to college. Emily's now a proud freshman. She emails her professor. Hey, can ChatGPT take my finals for me? Asking for a friend. P.S. What's a GPA? Congrats, kid. You've officially upgraded from homework helper to academic identity theft. That's what we call a glow up. One click on ChatGPT today equals a future where your kid thinks I before E except after C is a TikTok trend. Duet this if you still remember how to spell receive without autocorrect. But hey, at least they'll have perfect grammar, right? So here's the billion dollar question. When we let AI become the ultimate cheat code, are we setting kids up for success or coding their brains into permanent spectator mode? Drop a comment. Would you trust ChatGPT to write your kid's future? Or is that like letting a self-driving car decide your retirement plan? All right, parents. Step one, teach them to think before they tech. Instead of letting Timmy ask ChatGPT, What's the capital of France? Hit him with the why do you think Paris became the capital? And no, because croissants isn't an answer. Force that brain to sweat? It's like teaching kids to ride a bike before handing them a Tesla. Sure, autopilot's cool. Until your kid thinks steering wheel is just a decoration. Beep boob. I'm ChatGPT, your friendly neighborhood brainstorming buddy not your personal essay ghostwriter. Seriously, I'm not here to write your 10-page paper on why Pluto's still a planet in your heart. Pro tip, check your kid's chat GPT history like you stalk their Instagram DMs. Trust but verify, folks. St Step three, turn dinner time into debate time. Should pineapple go on pizza? Is water wet? Fight it out. Winner gets extra screen time. Loser has to actually read a book. According to Harvard, kids who debate with parents score 30% higher on critical thinking tests. The other 70%? Probably too busy arguing about TikTok trends. So, ready to turn your kid from a copy-paste zombie into a critical thinking badass? Comment brain power below if your team save Gen Alpha. And hey, subscribe before ChatGPT writes your excuse for missing our next video. Spoiler! We're exposing how TikTok is rewriting US history. One dance challenge at a time. So, here's the trillion dollar question, folks. Will Gen Alpha's brains evolve into supercomputers or devolve into glorified USB ports? Comment below. Would you let AI do your homework forever? Be honest. We all know you've secretly asked ChatGPT to write your sick day email. Smash that subscribe button now before ChatGPT writes your next excuse for skipping our videos. Sorry, my dog ate my Wi-Fi. Ain't gonna fly, Karen. Next week, what if TikTok taught U.S. history? Spoiler, the Boston Tea Party becomes a viral dance challenge. Step one, dump the tea. Step two, hit the woe. Step three, tag number revolution grind. Don't be a zombie, stay curious. And cotrelless your future.